Hi, this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. Today I'm going to share with you how I've made this beautiful peony flower using the prized peony dies. The dies come separately or in the bundle with the prized peony stamp set. And there's a total of 17 dies, so it's a big collection that is available. If you'd like more information, please contact me or visit my store. So basically to get started, for these four shapes, you will need these four dies. And they will make up our flower. They will be layered. These are the leaves. There's three different sizes. And the way to um, tell between them is these are very similar except this one has a ragged edge and this one has quite a straight edge which lines up with the edge of the outline for that one and there's also a smaller leaf which is available and they go together so let's get started i got this color inspiration from some gorgeous peonies that i was given last week and I wanted to highlight the edges just to give a little bit more depth of colour. I've used Magenta Madness as my card base. That's one of our new in colours. And I'm using Melon Mambo to sponge the edges. So I will just get my little sponge and work my way around the edges. I won't do this bottom section because that won't be visible. I will bend this back slightly though just to add a little bit of depth here because this will be visible and then moving on to the next one I just support the fragile bits as well so I don't tear them while I'm sponging and once again I want to highlight a bit of this section as well I just repeat the process for all of the shapes that I've cut out. It's really quite clever how Stampin' Up! has designed these dies to layer. And it's so easy to put together too. Just add a little bit more. Now for this last shape, this bottom piece actually will be visible. So I will sponge around there as well so I'll just go all the way around on this largest piece I also want to accent that a little bit more as well so now I have all four of my pieces sponged and a little bit of ink over my fingers that's all part of the fun so to assemble these um, before I start sticking them together I will actually curl them to shape them a little bit but before I do that I'll just show you that these are designed like a jigsaw puzzle these edges are actually designed to fit together perfectly so you just need to find where the pieces fit together and that will all be a guide for us for later on when we're assembling the pieces. So you can see how they all fit in really nicely. So to curl them, because the peonies in real life, the petals actually curl towards the middle, I'll curl them in this direction. I'm a little bit gentle with the cutouts as well. I support them as I go along. And I'm not too heavy handed with those. I'm also going to go this way a little bit because we're going to open this out and create a little bit of a pocket because that's where our little stamen is going to fit later on. And I just want to curl that that way and that will curl the other way. So we can adjust that as we go along. So I've got the first one done. And then once again, I'll just curl these over. And 
and create the little pocket open that up because that's needed to assemble the the pieces together and I'll just sort of bend these in a little bit and I do that for all of my pieces and using the bone folder just softens the fibers in the paper as well so that just helps to give it a little bit more shape you can see I'm sort of going from underneath there to give it maximum amount of shape then this last piece I can go a little bit heavier handed on this top because there's no opening near it and then the same with this bottom piece I just sort of roll the bone folder underneath that to give it a little bit of shape okay now we're ready to start putting it together the best thing to use on this I find is our Tombow liquid glue and less glue is more so the first bit we will start with our smallest section and we will just slide that in and we'll see how that lines up but I will just lift that up and I'll put a little bit of glue not too close to the edge and then I'll just line up the edges even though I didn't use a lot of glue I've still got a little bit seeping out I'll just clean that up and you can see that that is fitting perfectly together like the jigsaw puzzle so then we will repeat the process with the next die I just open up this little pocket and I'll slide this in and we'll repeat the process so I'll just slide my bit further down and I just add a little bit of glue and then I'll slide that back up into position and line up my pieces of the jigsaw I find it easier to line it up from underneath and just hold that together for a few seconds the Tombow sets quite quickly and you can see how that's starting to really take shape nicely now and then for our final piece of the puzzle we'll take our biggest piece and slide these under you can see this is a really thin piece here so I'm going to avoid putting glue in that spot so I'll just go a really thin bead around there and then I'll just sit that over the top just check from underneath and just hold that down and there we have our peony taking shape nicely now I just find my take the pick tool because to fluff this out a little bit I'm going to pop some mini dimensionals under there just to give it a little bit more shape and just to hold it in place so I will peel the backing I'll stick that onto there peel the backing off and I want to lift that up a little bit and pop my dimensional right up under there and pull out my take your pick tool and that will give it a little bit of extra lift and help it to keep its shape and I'll repeat the process get my bone folder and just pop that open a little bit and slide that in press it down pull out my tool and you can see how that's 
opening that up and giving it a little bit more dimension as well. So I'll just do it one more time in this section here. Remember to peel off the backing because there's no way you can peel it off when it's in there. Slide that in and pull that out. So I'm pretty happy with how that's coming along. And now to add our little stamen. So you will count back one, two, three, four. And you can see that there's this little slot here, which is perfect to fit our little stamen into, like so. But we do need to add a tiny bit of glue to it as well. So I'll grab my tweezers. I'll just pop a little bit of glue on the stem. And then since that's open, I can just slide that into position where I want it. And I pop that in a little bit further. Just get it exactly how I want it to go. And then I'll just press down gently, stick that together. So there we have our beautiful peony flower now that's got some dimension. And then for the leaf, I've pre-cut this one in granny apple green and I've cut the shadow in uh, mossy meadow just for a little bit of contrast. And once again, I'll whoops, grab my tweezers. And I just pop a few dobs of glue onto there. Just a little bit of glue is fine. And then this lines up like a jigsaw as well. So the pieces fit perfectly together. I'll just move that over and press that in place. And that is a leaf done. So then to attach the leaf, we can use a mini glue dot. And I find the easiest way to use these is just to press my object I want to stick onto them and peel them off the roll. And you can see my mini glue dots there. And then I will just go to where I want to attach it and just press it from underneath. So if you like, you can still shape your flower a little bit more when you're finished. But I am pretty happy with that. So I hope you've enjoyed the peony assembly and I hope you have a lot of fun playing with it when you get it too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy stamping. Bye.